guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto, finance, or the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now, today it is Sunday evening around 9 p.m. here. Again, it's just been a busy weekend. Uh, I was actually out uh, to watch Alice Cooper and Blondie last night and was hanging out with the crew. It was absolutely freaking awesome. Uh, so I didn't get a chance yesterday. It was quite chaotic. Anyway, we've got a bit of news to get through this evening. Yes, the Bitcoin halving has officially been completed. Finally, I think the anticipation for that was out of control. We've got XRP news. We've got, again, some pretty insane Bitcoin price predictions coming this year. We're going to get into that. going to go over some Solana news as well. And of course, my trading bots with three commas. And I'm also going to go over my top crypto picks for this bull market, just purely based on a utility perspective. So stick around for that. I'm going to go through them now. Let's get into the video. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there. Turn on that little bell notification as well, because as you can see right here on the screen, I absolutely love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come on this incredible journey. Things are about to get pretty wild in this space. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through, would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that, all right? So make sure you give it a good thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything, it's down there. Thank you very much, you guys rock. Also a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff, right? I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can freaking lose money like that when Grayscale sells a lot of Bitcoin. So do your own research. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, formalities right away, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I am slightly hungover today because we had a few drinks at the uh, event, which was freaking awesome. But anyway... Top old coins in the portfolio, we had Shiba Inu, that is pumping today, Acro, CKB, Sia Coin, and Gala. Very, very nice. Yes, yesterday the Bitcoin halving was completed. Absolutely bullish, uh, and I think big things are coming in this space. Having a quick look today at Coin Market Cap, we've got a total market of $2.39 trillion. This could significantly go a hell of a lot higher, and it's going to be an incredible time. We are still freaking early in this space. Uh, having a look at um, uh, the volume, it's still at $61 billion. Again, it's the weekend, Sunday, Saturday weekend. There's a lot of stuff going on. People are busy. Uh, but anyway, I think tomorrow or Tuesday uh, is going to be a great opportunity to dollar cost average. This is what I always do anyway. 53% Bitcoin dominance. Fear and greed index is sitting at 62 at the moment. Very, very nice. Bitcoin's currently sitting at $65,404. This is nothing compared to what's incoming for Bitcoin. Ethereum's at $3,181. We've got Solana at $152. XRP's at $0.53. Cents. Doge at $0.16, uh, 16 cents as well. I'm still holding on to my Doge. Toncoin, uh, there's a lot of integrations happening with this in Telegram. So keep an eye on Toncoin. $6.21. I may potentially open up a uh, long trading bot with a lot of these altcoins, which I have already. Uh, spot trading, that is, for the moment. Uh, Cardano's at 50 cents. Shiba Inu's are pumping at 19% today, which is crazy on a Sunday. Polkadot at $7.20. BCH, 515. Chainlink, $14. Maddox at 73 cents. ICP at $15. Litecoin, $85. Having a scroll down here, of course, my other favorites. XLM is 11 cents. Hedera's pumping today, 11%. Uh, again, still at 9 cents. Immutable X at $2.21. V chain again still hovering below that five cents. This thing has been flatlining for like 15 months now. Absolute nightmare. Casper's 11 cents. Optimism $2.49. Uh, let's have a look here. We've got Sui at $1.40. Uh, I am trying to buy more Sui just to add in that position while it's still cheap. Uh, Say again 60 cents. Another one I'm looking into. Algorand again 19 cents. Very, very nice to see that. The meme coins are pumping today. Bonks up 44%. Holy moly, that's a lot. Uh, Quant is at $101. Uh, scrolling down, WorldCoin, $5.70. Jasmine even's doing well today, 15%. Uh, 
Everything's in the green today post Bitcoin halving. So, and of course, other ones I'm bullish on, of course, are XYO, Reef, and XDC. Some other freaking gems right here. And we've got some lower altcoins as well. Uh, again, like Ubix Network. Again, that's pretty unheard of. Not a lot of people talk about that as well. And some other gems, but I'll have to share them in the Patreon. Anyway, that is it for Coin Market Cap. Now, moving on to crypto bubbles. And yes, before I do, I do have the Wall Street Bull University linked below. This is my official Patreon page uh, where I put up a lot of information. I literally posted up my altcoin list today and my dividend investing. So I post that up every single day. And uh, dollar cost averaging into the dividend stock portfolio is tomorrow when the market opens. So I put in my buy orders. That happens every single week. The stock portfolio generates passive income, which will become essentially generational wealth. So again, going down the line, that's going to produce cash flow every single month. Also, my trading bots with three commas on both OKX and on Bybit. Um, so everything is in there. You can speak to me in there. You can direct message me. And of course, there's a chat feature in here as well. So the community is freaking awesome. There's like 950 plus members now. Uh, there is a free version to this which is awesome as well. You can still speak to everybody in the chat feature. So if you feel like joining that, go join up. Uh, if you want the paid feature, I've just got a, a, some really useful information like access to the stocks that I'm buying, uh, my portfolio, and of course my uh, trading bots, which you can literally copy all the links as well. So that's all in the Wall Street Bull University. And again, it's just freaking awesome. Go join up, it is linked below. Now moving on quickly to three commas. Now again, I've taken a, a, just a little bit of an easier approach on this, just purely trade in the spot market. Uh, given the fact that it's been extremely volatile with a lot of selling pressure coming from Grayscale prior to the Bitcoin halving. And it's still going on, by the way. Uh, so the spot bots are working quite nicely as well. Here are all the profits that they're making. Uh, I've got a lot of them set up trading Bitcoin, IMX, Ethereum, AVAX, Ethereum Classic, of course, Cardano, uh, Polkadot right here. We've got uh, Optimism. We've got Pepe, which is actually doing quite well. Uh, Mutable X as well. So yes, the spot market. So I'm just letting them run. Basically with the spot market, you just set and forget, which is awesome. And I do have that set up on OKX, which is literally uh, changed, of course, uh, as you can see right here, but that's still trading on the spot market. So you can still do that, which is awesome. So go check it out. It's incredible. Now, if you want to trade with leverage, you can do that if you wish. Uh, I've just put a brief pause on the leverage trading until the market sort of picks up a little bit, then I'll kick them back into full swing and we'll be going full blown on those. But anyway, that's all in the Wall Street Bull University. It's incredible, go check it out. Having a look at the news today, let's get into that, or I should say crypto bubbles. Uh, it is a sea of green. I mean, the meme coins are pumping. Bonks up 43%. Not that I'm investing in meme coins anymore. I do hold them. I hold Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, and uh, I believe it was uh, Pit. Yeah, there you go. So not many, I, I just trade them, right? That is it. There are still incredible buying opportunities in the market literally and uh, let's have a look on the year because again solana for me is still my biggest play 618 percent it's gone up since last week it was 400 to drop back down now it's up 600 percent so solana for me is insane like, i've seen the biggest gains in that and i'm sure a lot of you have if you've been following my content uh, and of course all of my gems that i love to dollar cost average into the banking coins are still incredibly cheap uh, and again, utility, utility for me is absolute king. So very, very nice to see that. Getting quickly into the news, I'm not going to get too much into this, but Ripple CTO David Schwartz uh, spotlights XRP's meteoric 1500% rise, which, I mean, this is only just the beginning of this, all right? I will say that uh, a lot of people are getting frustrated with XRP because, you know, we're all sitting back waiting, but people need to be patient. Seriously, just have some patience with this. Uh, check this right here. Someone commented, holding XRP for seven years, not making SHIT or shit, uh, is something unbe unbelievable. If I bought any trash coin, I would be a multimillionaire by now. But I was laughing at people who buy shit coins, right? Now, all of the S coins, uh, people are laughing so hard at me. Thank you, Brad Garlinghouse, right? David Schwartz, seven years ago, 19th of April 2017, XRP was at 0 0.033 cents. On 19th of the 4th, 2017, that is a 1,500% increase equivalent and API of 47%. This is from David Schwartz. All right, so this is what I'm saying. It, 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 it's all about holding long-term with these assets, especially with XRP and basically all of the crypto assets until you get to a point where you can take profits, right? 
Just think about that for a moment. The average return in the S&P 500, this is what a lot of new people don't understand with when they're, they're coming into cryptos. With the S&P 500, the average return is between eight to 10%. The average return in crypto at the moment is going parabolic, 47%. It's an average, 47% return a year. That's mental. Anyway, just putting that out there that David Schwartz has said that, and that's awesome as well. Now, Bitcoin halving, you know, there's a lot of predictions coming out here. I mean, it's tipped to hit a six-figure value following a fourth halving details, which, again, I would love to see this, but check this right here. Um, Echo Econometrics shared a strong bullish prediction, right, uh, of Bitcoin price following the fourth halving that occurred only a couple of days ago. Crypto analysts stated that if Bitcoin produced a similar growth pattern seen in the previous bull cycles, its market price would likely range between $140,000 and $4.5 million. Let that one sink in for a moment, right? For context, the bull run, which forms a later part of the Bitcoin bull cycle, occurs the months following the halving events. According to Bitcoin's price history, during this period, the market leader known for, to record massive gains has seen after previous halvings. Look at this, 2012, 7,592%, 2016 it was 1,818%, and 2020, I mean, look at this, it's just nuts, so, but months after, we have to remain patient with this, all right? And um, this is one thing I wanna put out here as well. Forbes is putting out articles, uh, you know, uh, today, I believe this is, yes, it is, um, you know, suddenly a $35 trillion market cap, right? Check, this is from Forbes. Let me just close these freaking pop-ups, but check this out. Now the Binance Bitcoin wallet issues credible, uh, blah, blah, blah. Hang on, let's have a look. One closely watched analyst, sorry, has predicted the Bitcoin halving could catapult the Bitcoin price to 1.8 million US dollars, given the Bitcoin market cap of $35 trillion. You know, you've got to understand this bull market is extremely different from the previous ones. Again, we've got all these institutions now involved in this space. There's billions and billions of dollars of Bitcoin being purchased every single week. Uh, yes, we've had Grayscale selling off a lot of that, but uh, when you look at things uh, from the outside perspective of that, these institutions are buying up a lot of Bitcoin and it is literally running out on exchanges. No BS, right? Absolutely crazy. Now, this is crazy as well. Have a look at this. Grayscale uh, is literally got a mini Bitcoin ETF and their fees are insanely cheap. Insanely. Look, at Grayscale has proposed fees for its new Grayscale Bitcoin mini trust. It's a mini trust, right? To be set at one tenth of the current one and a half percent fee for GBTC. According to the recent filing with the SEC, with a suggested fee of 0.15%, it is positioning its ETF to have the lowest fees among the 11 approved Bitcoin ETFs introduced in January this year. Closely followed by the trillion dollar asset manager, Franklin Templeton, who's got a fee of 0.19%. I mean, that's nothing when you think about that, right? So this is what I'm saying. They're trying to gather as much momentum with this now that the halving's completed. However, on the flip side to that, we need to be careful of Grayscale because they're still holding the largest amount of Bitcoin, which is quite scary. Having a look, market analysts reveals why Solana is poised to go a hell of a lot higher. This is not the only analyst that's saying this as well. But Wednesday, the post from crypto analyst, uh, analyst Blunts right here has highlighted the potential price bottom for Solana, again, 160 to 162. And the crypto analysts anticipate that Solana's price will hit a bottom of 162 before it begins to go a lot higher. Sharing a several price charts illustrating Solana's price performance uh, again, from March to April 2024. He's predicting basically that it's going to go to $224 uh, in the next couple of days. And of course, we've seen the likes of Raul Powell talk about Solana being 80% of his entire portfolio and it doing basically what Ethereum did in the previous bull market. And to be quite honest with you, I've seen the biggest returns in Solana in the last 12 months than I have in any other crypto. I bought Solana at $22 and now it's gone to like nearly $300, I think, a couple of months ago. Now it's just back down to 280 or whatever it is. It's absolutely ridiculous. So keep a close eye on that as well. And I'm not gonna get into why the Bitcoin halving is different this time around. We all know that it's very different from this time around, given the fact that we've got, uh, you know, Wall Street money coming into this space. Whereas the previous, you know, bull markets, we didn't have that. 
We did not have that. Anyway, moving on to X. Thank you to those 6,300 plus people. You guys absolutely freaking rock. Johnny Deaton, legend. I've pinned that. Also, I just want to point out that the uh, bull ring that I'm going to give away as well, this one right here. Just going to grab that from the uh, table right there. When I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm actually going to give one of these away. No BS, right? That's solid silver with rubies in the eyes. That is bullish as F, all right? So subscribe to the channel. Uh, yes, Jeff Bezos back in his office in the day. Absolutely bullish. Moving on right here. David Schwartz, have a listen to this. As real world asset tokenization projects grow, I think the XRP Ledger is going to be a really good platform for them to launch on. Uh, you particularly because of the low fees and because of the integration with the DEX, with the proximity to sort of the movement of funds, the ability, you know, if someone's going to buy, what do you want to do with a real world tokenized asset? You want to buy it, you want to sell it, you want to hold it, you want to transfer it. And if you want to buy it and sell it, you want to be able to do that with whatever asset is convenient for you. You don't want to tie, if you tokenize some sort of debt, like you don't want to tie it to US dollars because then that limits access to it to people who have sort of proximity to US dollars. One of the things the XRP Ledger is good for is giving you sort of proximity to many different assets and that exchange is seamlessly built in. So I think that's going to make, that's one of the many reasons why the XRP Ledger is going to be a good place to launch tokenized real world assets. I think we'll see that in the next year, year and a half. Cool, yeah, and there's- I'm hoping- Real world assets. There's a lot of real world assets we're talking about here. Bonds, stocks, real estate, gosh, car, anything. Real world assets, right? That's gonna be all tokenized on the XRP Ledger. Cannot wait for that. Yes, the Formula One was on tonight. I watched that. Max Verstappen again. This guy's unstoppable. Seriously, it's crazy. Crypto Rover, thank you for this tweet, mate. Uh, but he's creating a massive bull flag right here. Look at that, it's absolutely beautiful. Cannot wait, patience, ladies and gentlemen, patience right here. Uh, Jerome Powell, I should say not Jerome Powell right here, putting out some, and uh, Jim Cramer, this is hilarious. Talking about NVIDIA, crashing NVIDIA price right here and again. Uh, moving on, XRP uh, one minute Bollinger Bands are officially the tightest ever in history. The last time that they were this tight, there was a 65,000% rally that followed. Bullish, let's go. Bitcoin halving is completed. Uh, moving on right here, there's a lot of new advertising uh, coming out for Bitcoin mining, which is fascinating as well. Scrolling down. Now, I want to play this. This is the CEO from Chainlink. Have a listen to this, I right? Has one of the key ideas behind Bitcoin since its creation in 2009 has been that it is more of a deflationary asset compared to the inflationary monetary system. This more deflationary dynamic, I think will be increasingly attractive in the world that we're in now, where inflation is a continuing and growing concern. Separately from that, every time there has been a halving, the Bitcoin community has grown, the value of Bitcoin has increased, and generally it's been viewed as a more reliable, more attractive asset. So that historical precedent is also there. It's possible that this halving, because of everyone's focus on inflation, and possible interest in a more deflationary asset will lead it to be even more attractive. There you go. I don't even need to say any more. And yes, uh, a day ago, we had $46 million of Grayscale Yes being sold on Coinbase, which is an absolute pain in the ass, to be quite honest with you. But it is going to keep happening. And also this time around, it could be, again, I mentioned that that we potentially could see you know, a lot of people selling those Bitcoin longs and those gains. So just be prepared for that. But... Overall and in time, Bitcoin will go up in value. It's inevitable. There is literally 1.6 million now probably of Bitcoin left uh, in existence. And that Bitcoin halving uh, has just reduced the mining rate from 900 to 450. It's only going to keep go up, going up in value. It is a, you know, a deflationary asset. I mean, it's literally a finite supply. So... There you go. Anyway, I'm focusing on my main utility coins. I'm not going to go over them. They're all in the Patreon. Go and have a look at it. I'm out of here, Bulls. I'll speak to everyone tomorrow. Have a good night, good afternoon, and good morning. If it's morning, have an espresso. I'll speak to everyone tomorrow. All right, guys, stay safe. Speak to you soon. Peace out. Bye.